Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows Central and check it out, we have the new Xbox Design Lab controller. Now this was launched last summer in 2016. Microsoft is now updating the program for 2017, announced at E3. So what's different today, we're gonna show you. The big thing was last year, it was US only. So I got mine made uh, and I actually have quite a few of these. Uh, I kinda like this one, but uh, now if you're outside the US, well, in a few other countries, specifically the UK, France, and Germany, you can actually order this right now. It's coming to other European countries later this summer, so that's pretty cool, but uh, for you in the UK, you can go and grab it today. So let me show you what else is new though. This is my new controller, which I've had ordered and customized, and as you can see, I changed up colors a little bit here. So this is what's different this year. First of all, there are four new colors, none of which which I have here, but those four new colors include Desert Tan, Sierra Brown, Mineral Blue, and Ink Blue. So those are more like earth tones, a little bit more natural and neutral looking. I went for a little bit more pizzazz with my controller here. So let's go through, and you have three new options. One, you have a new metallic D-pad. So this, of course, comes in all different colors. So you can get all the same colors you want, but you can get this with a metallic option. So if you've seen the Elite controller, well, that's kind of what this is right now. This doesn't pop off, of course, but you can get it metallic. So nothing's free, of course. Metallic D-pad is $2.99 extra, so $3, not too bad. Coming around to the triggers, you can also get those in metallic. Once again, you don't have to get green. You can get any color you want and you just choose the metallic option. That's an extra $3.99 as well. So they're gonna, you know, kind of nickel and dime me a bit, but it is a nicer feeling trigger. So, and it looks kind of cool as well. Coming around to the back here, and this is really probably one of the most useful changes. You do now have the option for rubberized grips here. Once again, borrowing from the Elite controller, you can get that for an extra $5.99. Now that doesn't come in any color, so it's just gonna be black, but whatever, you can still pick your color back here. So I chose white, and you can have a contrasting color for the front, but you only get black for the grippy things. But I actually really enjoy this a lot. It makes the controller feel a little bit more premium. Other than that, you do, of course, still have your engraving, which is an extra $10, but Microsoft is actually throwing that in for free right now. Total price for all of this, what you see here, is $103. Um, of course, you don't have to do everything metallic and you can shave a couple dollars off there. Pricing otherwise starts at $79.99. Now, we should also mention that this works with the Xbox One S. It does have Bluetooth, however, which is really why I like this controller. It means you can use it with any modern Windows 10 PC. So I use this with my laptops when I'm traveling. I also use it with the Xbox One S when I can as well. And of course it works with the Xbox and Xbox One using the pairing mode here. You can also of course plug it in with a micro USB and then there are batteries as well and you can throw in rechargeable ones if you need it. Overall though, really nice design. I'm happy with this one here. Uh, you may disagree with my color choice. That's fine, you can go pick your own. But that's what's new for the Xbox Design Lab. Highly recommend it if you're looking for that custom twist to your Xbox controller or you need something on the go with your PC. Thanks for watching, take care everybody.